Okay, right here you see a Basiris Erie 1250W walking drag line. Now, this is probably one of the most famous drag lines to be working in anthracite mining in Pennsylvania. And that's basically because this drag line is what you'd want to call the first super drag line, the first big drag line to come to work in anthracite mining. And when it was uh, brought over and assembled here, the company who owns it gave it the nickname the Anthracite King. And till this day, this drag line is still referred to by people who live around where it works or are familiar with it and see it. People will still call this drag line by its nickname the Anthracite King, or as a lot of people call it, the King for short. Now this drag line also worked in probably one of the widest ranges in the anthracite field. This drag line was never dismantled to be moved from one mine to the next. It walked all over mining for coal. So that's why, as I say, it covered a lot of ground back in its day. The reason why this drag line is out of service is it needs a new tub installed. And they're actually supposed to install that this summer, 2010. So hopefully this year this drag line will be back in service. But I'll take you around I'll show you some of the unique features on it. Now the 1250W replaced the 1250V, and probably when you see this drag line, the thing that stands out about it the most is the design of the boom, which you can see right here. The 1250W was the only drag line ever built to have a boom of this design. It's a two-section boom pinned in the center, made of a low, lightweight steel, and the purpose of that is to give the drag line better lift capacity with the bucket. And it really was a good idea by Busiris because it really did work. Now, why Busiris never designed any other drag line with this kind of boom design, I really don't have an answer for that. But that's what makes the 1250W so unique is the boom design on it, which you see right here. Most of the 1250Ws that went to work, there's a lot of them working down in Florida in phosphate mines. This is the only 1250 to work in anthracite mining. And as I said, it's one of the oldest drag lines to be working around here. Now, as you can see by looking at the body, or the house of the drag line, you'll notice it kind of looks similar to the older 1150B that P. Cyrus built. The 1250 followed similar designs that the original 1150B had. And some of the features, I'll show you some, but one of the features that resembled the 1150 is the fact that you can see that the cab is really high up in the air, unlike most drag lines that have the cab a little bit lower to the ground. Now this was an older design. A lot of the older drag lines will have the cab higher up in the air. It was an idea to give the operators better visibility. However, you'll see newer drag lines have the cabs lower to the ground and out in front more. And the purpose of that is you want the cab lowered. When you're running a drag line like this, you really don't need to sit up real high. You want to be out in front of the drag line more to get a better view of your bucket, because that's basically where all your action is uh, going on. Now the bucket you see here, 1250W could carry anywhere from a 40 to a 45 cubic yard bucket. Now, one uh, comment that I get a lot if I put up a video of a drag line working on my channel, and this is also, I see some of this on other drag line videos on YouTube, a lot of people will leave a comment that will say, how come the operator isn't heaping the bucket? It's mainly because of a safety issue. This machine is so large, as you can see, that you have to keep in mind that you're swinging around 45 cubic yards. If you have the bucket heaped to the point where material is falling out over the sides, and you're swinging the load, if a big rock or something falls off the side, and there's operators or equipment below, and it falls on them, you're going to have a major accident. So that's why a lot of dragline operators will only fill the bucket about halfway and then swing and dump. It's not about speed with the dragline. It's about safety. Because these machines are so massive in size and scale, you just you want to operate them safely. That's why most dragline operators that a company would hire have to have a lot of years of experience on them. This is not a machine that you would start a first-time operator out on. You can see the 1250W is a dual cable drag line too, to pull the bucket in and out. And you can see there's a view of your two-section boom up there. This right here, this is what's called your tub. This is what the drag line sits on and actually what they're going to replace this summer. Right in the center there, you can see all your 
your rollers that'll swing the drag line as it's working. And this is the upper works right here, inside are where the swing motors will connect to swing the drag line left or right. Here's one of your big shoes right here. Everybody should know exactly what the shoes, the purpose of these are on a drag line. These basically is what walks the drag line. And how it works is inside are the gears that will turn the shaft, that will in turn crank the gears right here, that will push this foot down, tip the back of the drag line up, and slide the whole machine backwards. Now a lot of times I get questions on how you actually steer a drag line when you go to walk it. To steer a drag line, you have to swing the house. A drag line will always walk in the direction it's facing, but you always walk a machine like this backwards to balance the weight. If you were to walk this machine forward, it would tip over because there's too much weight being put in the front when the drag line tips forward to walk. And right up there on the top, you can see where its nickname is painted right on the side, the Anthracite King. This piece that you see right here, this tall piece, it's connected up there. You can see that's actually a crane mounted on it. The equipment, the motors and stuff on this drag line are so large that if one had to be taken off to be replaced, you'd need a crane to lift them off. And that's why the crane is already installed on the drag line. Now this drag line is equipped with two 1,000 horsepower motors for your hoisted drag, which equals 4,000 horsepower. There's two for each. 450 horsepower swingers, and two 300 horsepower walking motors. Altogether, this drag line has 5,200 horsepower. Back here, you can see here's your counterweight on the drag line, and your electric cable right there, which runs underneath the tub, bringing your power to the machine. Your other foot right here, and there's a view from the back. And as I said, the 1250W, this is actually a very good drag line. A lot of companies like the 1250s compared to the older 1150Bs because the older 1150Bs were a very, very slow machine. The 1250Ws and the Bs, these were very fast machines for their size. But there she is, a Bucyrus 1250W.